Oh, turn the metronome off. Okay. All right, so let's do it. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? This is Spooks McGee with the Late Bloomer Podcast. Ooh, I know it's been a long time and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of really important stuff is going on in the world right now. But you know what? All I really care about at this point is giving y'all about 30 minutes of nonsense. Pure and utter nonsense. But hold on. It's nonsense, but it's poignant nonsense. It's something that was supposed to be pure nonsense and somehow, some way, made a statement by accident. I have with me a young gentleman named Chris Taliaferro, who is the meme creator that shook up the whole internet and potentially got somebody fired. He also hosts the podcast Things You Don't See Every Day with Chris Taliaferro. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct, sir. Now, Chris, yes. we got to start from the beginning, bro. Because I know you already told this story on your podcast, but this shit has gotten so out of hand. And it just, it just it's, it's, it's like after we did the episode, like four other things happened, right? This shit is um, crazy. There's been, there's, been a, there's been a lot of updates uh, <laughs> with with the story. Um, I guess just uh, you know just to kind of uh, start things off for uh, your listeners that uh, may not have listened to the episode of my podcast where you and I and uh, my friend John uh, broke it all down. Yeah. Uh, I um, for the past decade, almost a decade now, since around 2013. <laughs> um, it, is, it has been my goal to get Chingy, the rapper Chingy, back into the public consciousness in a big way. I wanted people to start talking about him. I wanted him to start getting more downloads for his music. It's just what I wanted. Some people think it's a little crazy. But, uh, hey, it's just kind of what I do. So so you weren't just I, picking on Chingy just as a random thing, just so something that was random and that could become a potential meme. You genuinely are, like, un, you know, unironically a fan of Chingy, and you actually wanted to use these, these crazy memes to draw attention to him through, through memes. Yes, 100%. That was, that was always the goal from the start. I, huh. I, I love the song right there. Right, right there is, is one of my favorite songs. I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, that beat is ridiculous. It's, it's amazing. Um, the, the thing, the thing is, uh, I have, a, I have a background in speech and debate, and one of the first things that I uh, learned when I uh, began competing in that world uh, was uh, my teacher at the time. Uh, she said uh, she taught me about something called your AGD or your attention getting device, and once you have people's attention you can then deliver the message that you're looking to deliver. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the way that I've always approached rapping. I don't always want to make everything about myself. But, yeah, I mean, I always thought that messages were great, but messages standing alone are corny. So I always tried to, like, do something that was, you know, impressive and then somehow sneak a message in there. I always thought that that was more effective than just being like, I'm going to tell you all about some real things right now. I'm so woke. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so I've I've made all kinds of memes about Chingy in this regard. I've made memes where he's key to saving the universe. I've made I've made memes where he's dead. I've, <laughs> you, you, you name it. Like I, I've just done all kinds of things, both kind of good, bad. You know, you name it. Huh. So, um, I really started to um, ramp up my efforts once I. Uh, once I took over the uh, the r slash chingy subreddit on Reddit, right? Uh, once I once I was able to uh, secure that because it was a de- it was a dead sub, uh, there were no posts, and the moderator had a uh, a dead account. Once I was able to uh, request it and procure that, I had a place where I could just put all my chingy memes all at once so and link to the podcast too. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. So uh, <laughs> exactly. So I um I really kind of 
tripled my output in terms of the memes I was creating. So um, I was just putting I was just putting together a bunch of memes, and um, one of the one of the memes I, I shared it didn't you know I posted it to the to the subreddit didn't you know it kind of flew under the radar you know got a couple of upvotes nothing crazy yeah but then I um, I posted that same meme to uh, take these niggas art supplies the, away. Yeah, the, the Facebook group, Stop Your Being uh, Edwards Art Supplies. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something going on with my microphone. Hold Max Headroom, okay. I will take your podcast. Hell. Oh my gosh. Why are you almost... That never happened before. It's like you're playing it now. Check, check. We will not have podcast anymore. Mic check. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Uh, no, it's okay. It's uh, okay. It must have been like a, a frequency uh, interruption or something. Like a di- <laughs> some digital shit. But go ahead. So you said... um. So you made so, this this meme. You posted it in. Uh, uh, take these niggas' art supplies away. Yes, and then it just and went and, crazy. Uh, stop! Stop! Stop giving these N words art. Stop supplies. giving them art supplies. Yeah, yeah. I, I, lo- I, lo- I love that. I love that group. It's, it's one of my favorites. It's favorite hilarious. Stuff. Yeah. It um it it took off it took off there, but it also took off on my personal page. So. In the, you know in that group it got you know something like four hundred likes and you know, 500 shares or something. And then on my own personal page, it was like another 300 likes or something like that. And, you know, you know, all together, you know, it was like thousands of shares. Ridiculous. That's, that's where it's, that's where it started to get a little out of hand. Yeah. And people were, you know, people I hadn't spoken to in forever were sharing it with me. <laughs> saying like, you know, I, said, I saw it here. I saw it there. Um, wow. But then, uh, Executive president of Estee Lauder, John Dempsey, ended up uh, seeing it and posting it to his Instagram. So my question is, how did he see this? Because he's probably not following Take These Niggas Art Supplies Away. Did some, you know, alt-right group share it, thinking it was like, look at these niggas? Like, what, how, did, how the hell did it come across his... Was, was, by, the to- by the time he shared it, um, it had been floating around for a few days at that point. Yeah, I saw people and, ripping it off of in, off of Facebook and sharing it on their own page like it was their shit. Oh yeah, oh oh, there was there was tons of that. <laughs> like I mean, everybody everybody removed my watermark. It, you know, I mean, wow, the yeah, internet's just, the wild wild west, man. Like this, yeah, the, the internet's the internet. I, mean, I, 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 <laughs> I, I can only do I can only do so much. It's all it's all good. But yeah, um, so it got to the point where when I was scrolling down Twitter, I was seeing it. Um, posted from outlets that I would never think would post something like that. Yeah. Um, I saw, I saw, uh, I forget which, uh, somebody from ESPN said something about it. Right? What? So it was like, like, it was, it was going all over the place. So I think what, what happened was he just discovered it organically because by the time, by the time he, uh, found it. It was probably shared like a million times at least. Crazy, so, crazy. I wish that there was a way we can mon- you you can monetize off of that. Not we, you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I mean, you, you know, are kind of sort of monetizing off of it. Your yeah, podcast yeah. is getting a little more shine. <laughs> um, no, I mean, and, and, and I'm working, I'm working on it. Um, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just very happy with with kind of the way the way it turned out. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's great. It's great. It was donkey uh, on the. It was on donkey of the day right after we posted the podcast. Yeah, yeah, no, that was that was that was amazing. Uh, another update is that uh, as of the recording of, of my uh, podcast episode about it, he had only been suspended. He has been indeed fired. Uh, honestly, look, that's a little bit much. Like, I think that might be a bit extreme. You don't think so? No, well, here, here's 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 my here's my take, and and this is yeah, I'm just gonna reiterate my take from 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 the other. Well, shows. before before we go into that, I want to make it clear that his meme made it into the hands of the president of Estee Lauder, right? Mm-hmm. Jack Dempsey is that his name? John John De- John Dempsey. John There's Dempsey. No Okay, he. I kept spelling it wrong when I first. When I first right. Uh, got out about this. There's a boxer and a fish, right? That's named after the boxer. Right. Exa- exactly. That's that's what comes to mind. Okay. So Jack, John Dempsey, posted the meme, got suspended, posted an apology. He wasn't fired, though. He mm-hmm. he he stepped down. Well, he he was informed that. He needed to leave. 
wow. that, that, that they were they they weren't going to they, they didn't want him back. Okay. So they were they told him to retire. So wow. I feel like I feel like at that point you're talking about word semantics. He got fired. Okay. It, it, okay. it was it wasn't his choice. He's he's no longer working at Estee Lauder. Wait wait wait. He's it's doing it again. Hold on. Okay. Around this point, there was some kind check, of check, check. what the fuck technological interference. Maybe the aliens are trying to tell us to stop messing with Dempsey. I don't know. <laughs> but you can hear technical issues are technical. <laughs> Chris and myself <laughs> giving you some adequate hold music <laughs> right there, right until there. something cleared up. <laughs> Let's see. Is it going to do it? Okay, we're good. There we go. Right, right, there right we there. go. <laughs> All right, we're back in there. So, okay, yeah, right, I don't know what kind of frequency is interfering with my shit. Um, uh, it's, let's listen. Let's listen. It's fine. I, I covered. The, I covered the dead space. I got. I got you. I got you back. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So ch- so he st- he he uh retired, but he was fired technically, sort of. But it was kind of like a nice firing. So they gave him severance, whatever, whatever. He's he's basically he's good. He's 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 good, right? I mean, listen, he was already good. He was making nearly $10 million a year at this job. Ridiculous. But, yeah, so, okay, so you don't think that it was it was over the top? Them- well, okay, no. So, 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 okay, so let me just reiterate the, the point that I made on my show. Okay. Um, I believe that, number one, that, you know, <laughs> the meme – you know, people were calling it racist. It clearly didn't come from a racist place. No, it's not racist at all. It was just not. It, 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 it read. He didn't read the room. From from the place of black people speaking amongst themselves and one another, and using certain terms and vernacular amongst themselves. Right, but he could have easily think, played dumb. He could have been like, oh, it says N star star star. I thought it said ninja. Yeah. I thought it said but, but, Nimrod. But he, I mean, he, he tried to play dumb in his statement, and that didn't work. The, honestly, I think the, be, the best strategy is just take it on the chin. You know, just say, hey, I thought it was funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, right, right. Because he got fired anyway. Yeah. So, you know, trying to, trying to pussyfoot around it. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about his statement in a second. Yeah, but go but, ahead. Um, to what you, why you think that he didn't, that yeah. them firing him wasn't over the top. Well, 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 listen, well, listen. So here's 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 the deal. So, um, you, as an executive, you know, as, as such a reputable company, you have to have much better situational awareness than mm. to share anything with racial slurs in it. That, like, I don't care. Like, the, because the, because here's the thing. I don't even. I I think that depending on the company. He may have gotten in trouble regardless of his race. I think a black person might have gotten in trouble for sharing that depending on what their job is. Yeah, but if, if he works for, like, Chappelle, <laughs> no. And, 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 and I, think, I think you really have to ask yourself and, and question, you know, hey, you know, is is making people laugh today worth you know, <laughs> losing, losing my life's, my, my career's work of over 31 years? Right? Like, I think, I don't, yeah. I don't think that's a smart play. No. Now, I, Stuff on social media. Wild. Wild things. You are outrageous, my nigga. With that being said, I have (laughs) absolutely um, not posted things or not spoken about things on social media based on my employer or, or, you know, my my job at the moment. Um, That's just a thing that I've done. And if I have the wherewithal to you know, kind of self-censor at times and say, hey, maybe this isn't the best thing to share. <laughs> if my wild posting ass does that, then I think that John Dempsey, executive pre- former executive president of Estee Lauder, should, should you know, he, he, should, he should be smarter than that. Yeah. So, I feel I, like so rich people don't, don't really have the same no, consequences. No, yeah. So, so do, do, I, do, I think, do I think he should have been fired? Would I have fired him? No, I wouldn't have fired him. Okay. But... I can absolutely understand, number one, why they fired him, um, and number two, uh, uh, why his apology wasn't accepted. And then I kind of wanted to get into the apology, because I think that's a big part of it. He said that he didn't read the meeting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the bright colors. I love Sesame Street. Share. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? That, that was, to me, you know, just going back to what you were saying in terms of, like, you know, just trying to make it, you know, like, oh, you know, make it sound better. Like, you, like, you make it sound worse 
when you, you you just have you just have to just admit yeah like, yeah you know, what happened and hey look it's like hey if you take it on the chin maybe people will respect that and and you'll get out of it but saying you didn't read it you read it yeah you read it that's why you spared it because, right because not not reading it makes it stranger because then like you said like is he just is he just sharing Sesame Street is it that's odd. Right, right. Nah, there's. I really wish I could just. Uh, I wish I could just ask him, like, what was the motive? What was the reason? Why did you do this? Did you just want to quit your job? Did you just you were just ready to go and then you had this was your your in like post this this meme with this wild shit on it and then you apologize you can get a free ride. Yeah, yeah. No, you know it's funny. I heard a lot of people speculating that um, he did it on purpose. It was possible that Estee Lauder, you know, they just. He had been there for a long time. They felt that he kind of ran his course, so to speak, and they used this as an excuse. And oh. I could, I, could buy, I, I, could, I could buy that. Like some intern um, shared it with him, like, you should share this. This is so funny. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I, I mean, I could definitely see um, them using this as an excuse to get rid of a guy that they were looking to get rid of, but um, I, I kind of had a thought about that. I'm just wondering if they were kind of giving any clues in the office, you know, because before you lose a job, a lot of times, like, people are annoyed with you. You you can kind of feel it out. But then again, he didn't really have the situational awareness to not post this in the first place. So maybe he (laughs) didn't even pick up on those those social cues. Yeah. He had no idea. Yeah. Something might be wrong with him. He might be a little off. But, yeah, it's just a wild thing, man. So aside from this guy, he's he, his story and him getting fired, all that stuff, it's, imp- it's important, it's cool, it's interesting, right? But at the same time, he's an afterthought at this point. This is the Chris Taliaferro show. This is the shit that you created, my dog. You made a dumbass meme on your phone. You made it on your phone, right? I did. You made a stupid ass meme on your phone, posted it on a whim. Now here's the thing. I hope this doesn't offend you, right? But out of all the stuff that I've seen you make, this is probably not even the top tier funniest things that you, you you've created. It's so like, uh, I'll just throw this shit out there with it. It's not it's not even like it doesn't seem like the well crafted jokes and satire that you normally make. It's 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 probably not my favorite of all your things. So everyone that'd be like, Oh, the meme ain't even funny. It's like it's not. That's the point. It's so cringe. It's so dumb. It's so ridiculous. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Chingy's in there for some reason. It do- there's no reason for it to be to exist at all. And for some reason, it shook up the world. Does that make sense? Like what I'm saying? Like, are you offended by no, that? No, I mean, no. I I, 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 def- I definitely hear you, and it's like, you know, I, I, listen. You you are very privy to um. To my work. Everything uh, you create, I pretty much see it before most people do. Uh, all exactly. That. exactly. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I'm sending it to you just to kind of like, you know, just kind of get, get a pair of eyes on it before I even send it out. Right. Um, but you know, you know, you know me. My my memes go from simple to pretty elaborate. So yeah, you know, I mean, on like, some Rick one, and Morty shit. One of my shit. memes was yeah, like one one of my chingy memes was pretty much like, uh, you know, a little mini movie where it's like. You know, there's an assassin trying to shoot him, and yeah. like, Satan's involved. He's teleporting to a supervillain's lair. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> need an adult swim thing. show. You need an adult swim show, dog. Real talk. <laughs> well, I made, I made a couple of uh, I made a couple of unlicensed uh, adult swim shows. Uh, those are on my uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, but <laughs> but no, but that's the thing. But like, I'll do stuff like that. You know, with uh, you know, with green screen and, and puppets and you know effects, yada yada. And then I'll just you know I'll uh, edit a uh, little golden book in my photo editor <laughs> and giggle to myself as I put a uh, mask on Big Bird. Yeah. So that's the thing with me. It's like, you know, I've heard about a lot of people that spend a lot of time as an MC, as an artist, as a producer. We just we we, we want to go so detailed. We want to make it perfect. And th- sometimes the th- the thing that you just throw against the wall is the thing that shakes up the world. It's like uh, I don't know if you know about this rapper named OG Mako. OG Mako. I forget. How, I, don't, I don't really know how to say it. I'm not super familiar, but go on. He had a song. It was really popular back on the early days when Vine was, when Vine was really popping. And it was like, yeah. bitch, you guessed it. Who? You was right. Still in it, bitch. And I flexed, right? He just recorded that thing real quick. Whatever. 
Didn't think nothing of it. Uh, upload it. Matter of fact, I thought I was going to delete it. I hated that song so much. Is what he said. And the song was his biggest hit. He, he hasn't been able to match that hit ever again. It's called You Guessed right. It. It actually still kind of goes hard. But it doesn't have no lyrics. It's nothing. It's just a bunch of noise and, like, talking. You know? It's like, bitch, yeah. you guessed it. Some, 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 and I'm flexing. It's just like dumb. It's, it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It's random. It's whatever, right? Same. Another yeah. another example. Shaq West, his friend uh, Mo Bamba, he's like you know a basketball player. He says, "Can you make a song about me?" He says, "Whatever, I'll do a song." He does the song. It's freaking massive. It's a huge, super mega hit, and he he's never gonna be able to match it. But he probably has albums worth of material that he probably thinks is way better you know sure. you know waka flocka flame is a is a great rapper but hard in the paint and all that shit where he's you know screaming bah, bah, bridge, bah, is a shit that really takes off and i feel like we right. think too hard when it comes to creating art i don't want to make this too like oh it's so like no 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 i'm, I'm, gl- I'm glad to have the conversation because as you're as you're saying this i do have some thought i want to let you finish your thought yeah yeah before i Okay, you, yeah, I, do, I, do I, I tend to overthink saying. about things, especially in the art field. And, and memes are an art form. It's like, sure. when it comes to art, sometimes you just have to be. You just have to do something. Like, just, just create. Like, stop worrying about what people think about it, what happened, because it, it, it it's going to do what it does, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I, so, um, what, I, what, I, what I really want to say in regards to... Um, creatives, artists, uh, the one thing I would say that works for me personally and has been working for me personally is ignoring the tendency to be a perfectionist. Yes. Because mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm a perfectionist to my core. Every single piece of media I put out, I promise you, if you see if you see a flaw or you notice that like there's a little bleed through on my green screen or whatever the case may be, right. I, I, I saw it. Like don't don't think that I put it out without knowing that. You know what I mean? Like right. I'm I'm well aware. Mm. Um but a lot of times people who are artists and creatives have the tendency to allow that mentality to cripple them and prevent and that prevents them from releasing anything at all. Yeah, yeah. So that- so I'll give you an example. When I made that as silly as this may be, when I made that meme, if you go and look at it, Big Bird doesn't have the mask looping on to his ears because <laughs> <laughs> Does Big Bird have fucking ears? No, right it's just a loop floating in midair. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. So that bothered the shit out of me, even though no, but nobody, who cares? Nobody like, cares. Who cares? Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. But I, but so you, you can, you can oftentimes, you know, when you, when you create, you can kind of, um, you know, kind of, you know, nickel and dime things and kind of say, ah, let me not put this out. Let me. I'll give you another example, and this, this, this goes back to you. Um. Uh, to make a long story short, I won't get all in the weeds for everybody, but uh, you did the theme song to my to my show. And I lost and the file, forgot to save it. Y- yeah, so you forgot to save it. So I'm going to redo that like for you again, man, with a better quality, I promise. Well, this, well listen, this, see, this is, where I'm, this is where I'm going with it. Okay. Um, I personally think the, you know, the rough night, if you want to do another one, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. <laughs> I also want to do those little bumpers right. and stuff like, <laughs> like a little shit, but, like, but, yeah. But with, with that being said, um, I think that there's a, a good quality to the, the, the roughness of the cut that I ended up using. And it's, it's, it's the lead into my show every, every, every episode. So, Yo, I appreciate that. You know I just thought I just um, thought that you were gonna take this, the glorious and Cade part and all that shit and just throw it on the end of the show. But you put it on the beginning every time. See, little shit like that bothers me. I would be like, I would just fade off and just, you know, you know, uh, when you start saying, this is some things you see every day, and you start, hey, what's going on? This is Chris Talley. That's when I feel like you would come in. But for you, it's like, fuck you, uh, Kermit, Gloria Sinkade, I love you, baby. Like, you leave all that shit in there for what? So I, left, I left it all in. Do you know, do you know why? See, why? See, it, it, was a, it was a deliberate choice. Um, it's, it's because uh, you want people to know what they're potentially in for from the start okay so yeah. 
I say eat, eat my dick. I'm saying all kinds of wild shit. Yeah. Like eat my dick. And, <laughs> you know, you know, Kermit. You know, you're cool. You know, fuck this guy. Whatever. Yeah. It's like okay, this is. I don't know what what's going on, and I don't know. I don't know what like. It, I, I feel like it. It really, it really encompasses the theme of the show, which is things you don't see every day. Yeah. So it's like, so it, for someone that doesn't know of the puppet characters I use and all that, they're like, who the fuck is Mike Cheddar? <laughs> who is Gloria C. <laughs> what is he even talking about? Right. What is this? Yeah, I got the what? joke almost immediately. All the inside jokes, I caught all them shits. Yeah. So, but, 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 that, but that's, that's kind of the thing. It's like each, each episode is supposed to be something you're like, what? What, what? Oh, and then as time goes on, you'll you'll introduce Mike Cheddar and all these guys, and it'll make it'll start making sense. Well, Mike Cheddar is actually in an episode. He's okay. actually in one of the uh, the most popular episodes I did. Oh, uh, nice. You gotta go back and check that one out. It's it's actually pretty funny. Okay. Um, Mike Cheddar is British, so got the well, Mike Cheddar well, guarantee. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, but on some real shit, dog. I I haven't seen the 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 uh, 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 Kanye documentary yet. Um, I've I've always been a huge fan of Kanye, but whenever I create, I always say to myself, "Don't Kanye this," because I always notice that listening to videos on YouTube of people talking about, yeah, Kanye is acting wild right now, but. At the end of the day, he's still a creative genius, and I look at videos of them in the studio. I looked at when he was doing Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, and he got Timbaland in to come and do the drums over, and it's like, dude, the, Timbaland's there like the drums are fine, you know? And it's like, uh, I have that, I don't know what it's called, hyper-focus, OCD. It's not, I don't have OCD, but when I'm in the creative space... I want I have I I I'm, I have this hyper focus. Um but everything else in my life is all over the place. I can't keep my laundry in order. I can't <laughs> you know right, right. <laughs> brush my t- forget to but brush my teeth, when, stupid no, shit. When you're creating, you're creating. No, I uh, listen. I feel very similarly when I have a when I feel like I have a strong idea, I can I can knock a video out in 20 minutes. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like exactly. I, you know, I, I, I it's just like bing bang boom. You know, or or if I really feel like I have a strong, you know, podcast topic, I can just like I can put out an episode immediately. Um, the, the one, you know, one thing I'll say is, um, you know, I, well, it, it's it's a question for you, but it's it's kind of a I kind of know the answer okay. already, but it's um, you know, you talk about Kanye, right? Yeah. Do we do we really remember? the Kanye misses, so to speak, you know, the, 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 the tracks on, you know, 808 or whatever that are like not as memorable or do we just remember the hits? Only the hits. Yeah. Whenever, whenever I post something and I'm, I'm self-critical, I kind of remember that because the, because this, this happens all the time. It'll fall by the wayside, and I'll even forget that I posted it. And no one talks about it. It's like no one says anything. You know, mm-hmm. Okay, like mm-hmm. you know, it gets it gets three likes. Who cares? Like it, you know, like it falls into obscurity. And then the very next thing I'll post will get two hundred likes and fifty shares, and you know, and it's like, oh, okay, well, people like this one, right? Um, right. So again, you you just really can't allow, uh, you know, a sense of perfectionism. To cripple you and prevent you from letting your gift go. You know, right. sometimes you got to just let it go as rough as it is or, you know, and, and listen, sometimes roughness and um, limitations uh, in, in recording or limitations in, uh, in, in capturing things or, or anything, it can... Um, it can breed even greater creativity. I'm, I'm, I'm often reminded of Jaws, where uh, the, an, uh, mm-hmm. the animatronic puppet uh, shark that they used in the movie was often malfunctioning. It didn't work. Mm. It was not reliable. So because of that... Should have got they Hanson. Had, <laughs> they, right, they really should have. But, but, beca- but because of that, they had to get creative with their shot selection in terms of when they show the shark mm. building building suspense by not showing the shark it's like okay we're going to build some drama and some suspense and we're going to do it in this moment 
and it, and it will work, but we're not doing it because necessarily just because it works. We're doing it because it works, and that stupid fucking robot <laughs> shark puppet yeah. doesn't want to cooperate today, and right. it's going to take Jerry right. two, two weeks to fix it, yep. and we got to shoot something now. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> yeah. And, that, you know, things, you know? back to Kanye, it reminds me, too, about, uh, you know, his first number one was uh, Slow Jams, you know? Not only, right. not only did... Jamie Foxx think it was a flop that, you know, because he wanted to do way more vocally. Not only that, if you listen to the song, there's mistakes. There's mistakes on that song. The right. the stupid punches, the the it's like, you know, all, you know some some vocals are are in the wrong place. The levels are off. The the song is not perfect at all. Not by a stretch of imagination. It's, it's not perfect, but it was his first number 1. And, you know, I feel like the thing that that separates uh us from other people and people like Kanye and, you know, Pharrell and Tyler, the creator and all these other, you know, uh, black creatives, um, even Tyler Perry shit is that shout out to Tyler, the creator, by the way, I just, I just saw him in uh, Jackass forever with my son. Oh I man, I got to watch that movie. I haven't watched it. I like, I like Jasper. He's a, he, I like that they're including people of color in the Jackass uh, world because yes. they didn't really have too much of that. It was like a white boy club and you know, no Street. offense to anybody, but yo, yeah. Anyway, Oh no, 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 no. I want to see that. I didn't want to see it. Cause I'm like, am I old? Am I getting too old for this? You know, Jackass shit, but I like to see, you know, all the guys and see how they've, how they've grown. I just wish that, uh, without, without spoilers or, yeah. or ruining the movie for you, it was definitely satisfying. Okay. Um, like a, like a, at the same time, yeah. I want this to be the last one for them because they are in their fifties and they're going to hurt themselves. Yeah. Like the, I'm, I'm glad that, that they did bring in some of the younger guys, some of the newer guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so they didn't take all of the beating, but they they took a they took a beating. I think um, that so, I think that Johnny Knoxville has a really bad cognitive uh, uh, abilities now. Yeah, because... I mean, listen, I'm not again. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure you've seen things in media about what happened to him, but I'm not going to spoil the scene. Okay, when yeah, I saw yeah. It, when I saw it, you I knew. physically I physically recoiled. Like I was Ooh. like, oh my god, like he like. That, there's no way you could fake that. He he hurt himself. He's not <laughs> right, right, right. And, and that's not the that's not the only moment in the movie like that. Ooh. There's a couple of moments where I was scared for people's safety. Damn. I was like, wait a second, hold on. Like this is doing. Wait a second. Like you really could get hurt. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm the I'm the tangent master, so I'm really good at remembering where we left off, which was pretty much this. Oh, look at you. I'm, I'm ready. Go go for it. Yes, when it yes. comes to people like <laughs> like Kanye. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah, okay, okay, no, you did it. You, you <laughs> the I respect, I respect hey, you. I have figured out how to master my ADD. Yo, so when it comes to people like creative people like Kanye, like uh, Johnny Knoxville, like Spike Jones, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. you want to talk about all the people. You know what I'm saying? It's it's you have to stick with whatever your original vision is and make it happen, no matter what people tell you, because the same motherfucker that did a uh, uh, jackass. It's the same guy that 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 decided, hey, far side, we're gonna shoot a video backwards. Can you learn how to sing backwards? Nobody ever did right. that. Nobody ever did that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I props to Fat Lip and what's the other guy's names? Oh God, um, Booty Brown, and mm-hmm. and what's the other guy? I don't, I, I anyway, they, they they heard the idea and they 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 were like, "This is kind of fucking weird," but let's stick to the vision. And they learned phrases from their raps backwards, just so that it'll look you know cool for it, but look like they're actually lip syncing forward. Like, right? Th- that was that's when you you see something and you see someone's vision and you trust their vision and you help them make it a reality. When I shot a video with this guy Abib, Abib Jalil, he's now uh, he he now, he's now really into videography. He started his own company called Okra. He, he would always sing this little ditty whenever we were walking around. We I, I said I want to go to the top of Kennesaw Mountain. He's like, all right, whatever. And like while we're walking up the mountain, he's going, don't want to compromise your vision like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he just kept saying that. It was hot. Yeah. It was it was muggy. I had a change of clothes on me so that I could change into like an all white costume. And I, I'm in the bushes getting naked on top of a mountain with all these hikers walking by, you know. But I had the idea that I'm going to get to the top of the mountain. 
I'm gonna get to the top of the mountain top. Top of the mountain. We, uh, and wait, once, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we, we can't, we can't do, we can't do the Martin Luther King impressions on two podcasts, can we? <laughs> yeah. What was it you said? You said it's like a combination of Southern pastor and ghost. <laughs> yes, it's a yeah, it's a Southern pastor or a Southern preacher and a ghost. If yeah. you Combine those two, you'll have a passable Martin Luther King. Impression. I have been to the mountain top, <laughs> and I actually went. Uh, yeah, so we shot. I want to haunt your house, and I'm going to shake your cabinets when you're not looking. Oh, God. Yo, shout out to MLK, man. He really had a nice vision, too. And you know what? People said wait, 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 a million you know, you men. Know, you know what's funny? We didn't even mention this when we brought up Martin Luther King on my uh, on my show. You know, um, he and I share a birthday. Get the fuck out of here. I swear to you, January 15th. Damn, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. So MLK why, why, Day. Why do you think? Wait, wait. Why do you think I keep a Martin Luther King impression in my back pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning 45 today. <laughs> you know, there's actually. It's my birthday. See, it, it's it's all. It, everything I do has purpose. Mm. Everything I do has purpose, and it's funny because so many people said to me, like, I I got so many comments. Uh, about the chingy thing, right? And so many people were like, oh, it's just random. Like, oh, like, you're acting like you did something. And I'm like... It's not random. I've been making chingy memes specifically, mm-hmm. so one of them would pop off like this, and I've been doing it for nine years. Yep. You're calling that random? Exactly. And that's the thing that about was, people who are not in a creative... land that I stuck to yeah. for a decade. Yeah. I'm committed. That's the thing that... It see, it, this episode ended up being creativity... Uh, episode part two. I have one called Creativity is Next to Godliness. I know that you might not believe in certain things, but I've never felt more That's close okay. to a divine being than when I'm creating. And it, I don't know if you're familiar well, I, with... I, I, will, oh. I, will say, I, I will say as as a uh, as, as a former believer and an open and out and proud atheist, um, when I get into the creative space, what I can tell you is um, when I create, that feeling is the same feeling that I believe was the the Holy Spirit mm, um, when you were that, in church. That, that, that divine presence, you know, within me mm. uh, when I create. So, it, you know, I, I'm not. That's not me. That's not me uh, denouncing or poo pooing your faith in any in any, any stretch. Yeah, yeah. Any, 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 and I have nothing to say about the word. Saying that I can. I think that we can both agree yeah. that. It, whether whether you whether you believe that comes from from God or I just believe that that's you know a feeling you get, we both I think are feeling that same feeling when we create. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty similar. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty similar. And uh, yeah. uh, I often uh, like to say Genesis one one because it's the first verse in the Bible, and the first thing that they say is that God created. Like, why did they mm. feel so necessary to say that God created? Why was that important? Well, I think that they were trying to tell us that we're God and we can create just like how he did, if that's what you believe. I mean, I'm, 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 st- I'm still stuck on the uh, verses about slavery, but... Yeah, whatever. but I'm yeah. trying to say, like, these... I'm not, yeah, not, yeah. not going to pick a fight. I love you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. So All I'm going to say... Like, I, have a, I have an atheist episode that I did. I'm going to do a part two of that, too. I actually have a lot of episodes that I want to revisit. I definitely want to talk about the atheist episode because I want atheists and believers to coexist because what's the fucking point of us like trying to convince each other? Like, what's the point? It doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's a God, if there isn't a God. It doesn't matter if we if we agree or not, because did that stop you and I from connecting? No, listen, listen, one of one of my best friends in the world, my, my oldest friend, the friend that I've known the longest, I've known this brother since uh, I was uh, four years old. Shout out to Matt Green, my friend Matt Green. Um, he, you know, listen, he, he accepted Christ into his heart and he believed. I, listen, I post a few I post a few memes with Jesus in them. And like he, he was like, hey, man, like. Don't send that to me. And I respect that. Yeah, he doesn't and believe that the blasphemy is a, is a forgivable sin or something like that. Yeah, I mean, but like, you know, I mean, to be fair, you know, he may have had a point. Like, I had Jesus getting his dick sucked. <laughs> bro, um, you be wild with like, it, bro. Yeah, like, I, you know, like, like one, one, of them, one of them had, um, 
one of them had him uh, getting his dick sucked. Another one uh, had somebody, one of the apostles, catching him with a stash of drugs. Um, <sighs> another one, another one uh, had him um, healing, healing someone with Mike Jones lyrics. So, uh. you know, so like he put hands on him and, and instead of, he just said, you know, back then, those didn't want me. Now, I was all up. Is that, the, is that from the book of 877? Seven, seven, what's the phone number? <laughs> what's the phone number? Number reverse. What's the phone number? <laughs> I, see, I see you know your scripture. It's from the book of Paul. Paul what? <laughs> you see? And you know what? I feel like if we could just stop and look at how hey, my beliefs are important, your beliefs are important. You know, I don't feel like this whole... Someone said a word. A, it was a specific word that I heard that made me... That, that I never heard before, but it was pretty much trying to to convert people. But it's a specific word. Um, I feel like that shit is super cringe. If you want to talk about certain things, cool. If you don't, cool. But I don't... I, I have no interest in trying to save souls like Pokemon or something. Got to catch them all or some shit, you know? That shit's weird. And, and 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 can I can I can I speak from from uh, from some from from the perspective of someone who, despite not believing, does know their Bible and and does have you know like a, a good understanding of faith. Um, a, a lot of people who um, do the, uh, the 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 proselytizing, I think that's how it's proselytizing. That's what it is. Yeah, like, yeah. I was trying to I was trying to think of the word too. That's why that's why I wasn't sure I was pronouncing it right. I was I'm just I'm doing we're, we're doing this live, so I was doing it in real time in my head. Um, well, do it live. No, we're doing it live. Man. <laughs> but um, no, when you when you do that, uh, a, a lot of Christians I've seen do it wrong because. Uh, you have to, I mean, the, I, I'm not going to quote scripture for people right now, but the Bible <laughs> specifically is clear about letting the words speak for themselves and uh, and letting that truth just be known. Like, you're not supposed to kind of sweeten it or whatever. Or so, deceive like, people, like give so them a fake example, dollar bill and it has a scripture on the end of it. The million dollar well, question. Well, that well, shit. Well, what, 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 I, what I mean, what I mean is like, there's like, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. Okay. Um, there, there's rules. There's rules that outline uh, slavery in the Bible and like what to do with your slaves. So a lot of times, um, people will interpret the Bible and try to preach the word to non Excuse me. Uh, preach the word to non-believers by uh, suggesting that the slavery was something like indentured servitude or like kind of downplaying what slavery really is yeah which is like owning another person and you know my my thing is if you are supposed to you know preach the word as it is and you're not supposed to you know kind of put your own little spin on it and you're supposed to let god's word speak for itself then let god's word speak for itself and if somebody reads that passage about slavery and they decide to reject god then if there's a God, then guess what? They'll deal with that on Judgment Day. But that's but but it's not it's not within man's hands yeah. to uh, to try and manipulate it to make it seem not as bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I will say this. And I feel a lot of Christians do that, and I think that's the wrong approach because to me, like if if you want to make the argument that um, God uh, has a divine plan that we can't understand then you would have to at that point accept that uh, he having rules and regulations for slavery makes sense in heaven somehow and maybe we don't understand right. I, I'd rather hear people preach from that position yeah. than try to like do it the other way around and be like no he's not saying slavery it's like you know light slavery like it's like you know it's like, nah it's like, right well I'm gonna tell you anyway. what uh, and I'm not gonna sure, get in I, I, I'm yeah, so no, nah, now you good. Like, now you good. I'm not gonna get. Like I'm not gonna get too much yeah, into this. I was, I was the one that was trying to make. The, I, I was the one that was like, ah, oh, like you know, I, I, like, I, you know, I got some stuff to do because I really do. I'm like, I'm so like, I'm really busy with yeah. this shimmy thing, believe it or not. <laughs> um, but I'm the one making this go long because I'm going off on the crazy. Yeah, no, no, but I will say this. I will say this. I apologize. 
no, no, you're good. You good. I, I will say this about that particular thing about those all, all those things is that yeah, yeah, you know yeah. just like how there's people that are like oh critical race theory is a bad thing you shouldn't keep it in schools you shouldn't teach people to hate each other. I felt okay. Uh, I don't know if you're if you're familiar, but the origin of the of the the 66 books that we know today is just a collection yeah. of a bunch of ancient ancient script that a uh, a council of pretty god, uh, ungodly men worldly men decided would be good for society to hear so i feel like so, a lot so, of the wait, wait, a lot of the scriptures so, and things I, I, are not i just, I just, I just, I just want to let you i just want to let you know mm -hmm. um b before i uh before i became an atheist um i was a devout christian i was raised roman catholic um sorry to hear my that mother was my, my mother was roman <laughs> my, my mother was roman catholic super um, fucking weird my, but my father was Baptist, so I went to both churches um, and kind of got you know both flavors. I've read the Bible cover to cover. So he got the um, oh, <laughs> and he got the and God um, did but, something but, but, I, I was I was actually I was actually in honors theology class in my Catholic high school. Right. So you already uh, know uh, what I'm talking about as far as the Council of Nicaea, as far as yeah, the 66 well, book no, not no, being no, 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 law that's, 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 and all that that's stuff. What I was gonna say. Like, there, there are things, there are things because you're, you're talking about what what is chosen in the Bible, and let me tell you, like some of my favorite passages of the Bible are in Tobit and Judith. Mm. You and know what I mean? They didn't even and make it. They didn't even make the cut. They didn't make the cut, <laughs> and they're like, and, and and especially Judith, like Judith pisses me off because they're like, ah, like this was too late after the fact, and I'm like, all of the Gospels are anonymous, and they were all like. Years after the fact, yeah. So why would any of them count? Like, if you're saying Judith doesn't count, there's no reason that Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John should even count. Yeah. And and like and and that to me that's weird logic. So like the first like when I really started getting into the Bible and 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 dissecting it, that was the first thing I did, which was uh, you know try and, and seek out. And I'm I'm old, you know. I'm old. <laughs> uh, so like when I, when I when I'm talking about seeking out Judith, like I went to the library yeah. and was like I'm looking. For the book of Judith. I'm Damn. For Tobit. Damn. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, but that's dope, man. And I, and I, and I, that's where I, that's where I'm trying to get to later on in, in my life. But right now, I gotta figure out how to get some sh money. You know what I'm saying? I'm broke as fuck. Okay, anyway. So, oh my God. but real talk. Look, I'm, I'm still trying. I'm still trying to get money despite this chingy thing. I'm aggressive to poor. So if you can send any, anybody my way, I'm yo, real talk. Send, send, send. Yo, please. It, it really, it, it Yo, really helps my yeah, I'm gonna put the link to the podcast for sure. But I'm gonna say one more thing about Christianity, okay? So the, I, I might not believe in every single book, as far as like every single thing is like that's written in there is like law and is it's the word of God, it's infallible, it's the perfect book that came down from heaven, quoting Pure Comp because he said that he's like it's not that's not what it is. But I will say one thing: the idea, the idea of what it was. It, you talking about poor? You talking about wealthy? You talking about access? You talking about Dempsey versus us? We're talking about the people, the priests that were doing all this elaborate showmanship, right? And Jesus came by and was like, look, God is only one call away. <laughs> I like the way you did that right there. <laughs> and he said, ching a lang, ching, ching a lang. And he said, and he said, you know, you know, uh, when, it, when the woman with the issue of blood came by, he, he touched her and said, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to change your blood right there. I'm sorry. You know, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> that was it. Hey, but I'm glad I took the journey, bro. I'm just, that's what that's that's creativity in a nutshell. I'm glad, I'm glad I took the road to, to get to the destination of that joke. Yo, I have a special it skill. My, it tickled my soul. I Yo, appreciate hey, no problem, brother. Hey, thanks for coming by, Real Talk, and um, tell everybody where we can find you because we got to come back, we got to do another hour episode because we just did one. <laughs> oh man, listen, hold on. So, first of all, um, we will be doing a lot of things together in the future so you can you can bet on that pause um <laughs> no no i, I un, unpause no, 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 oh hello uh, resume, wait, 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 i just realized when someone says pause i'm gonna say resume i say revert rewind fast forward well, no, because tracking now, now, remember you're, tracking if you're, on a, if you're on a streaming app you pause and then when you after you pause, you resume. So, <laughs> like, hey, no, if you try and pause, no, I'm hitting that res I'm hitting resume. Right. Hitting resume. We're, you can't pause we're forever. This, we're letting this play. <laughs> we're, letting it, <laughs> we're letting it play. When no. it asks you, are you still here? Yeah. We're going to click yes. 
One of my favorite jokes, and that's why I like Tyler the Creator, is making people that are homophobic uncomfortable. It's pretty funny. But anyway. Oh, my, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Can, can, I, can I tell you? This is a true story. Can I tell you? Uh, 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 and, and I'm going to plug my stuff. Okay. And thank you for giving me the opportunity. Um, but I'm going to tell you about a game that I used to play probably when Tyler the Creator was, uh, you know, a toddler. A t- toddler the Creator. Toddler the Creator. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh, so, uh, me, me and my buddy Nick. Northwing. <laughs> I'm a goblin. Um, <laughs> you know, so, my, my friend Nick and I, we used to play gay chicken. Right? Oh, Lord so Jesus. It, it, would, it would just be like, you know, like, like, who could do the gayest thing before the other one was like, hey, can you fucking stop? Like, can you just, like, not, like, like, so, for example, like, I'd lean into him and, like, breathe on his neck a little bit and, like, maybe, like, start to seem like I'm about to nibble his ear. And, and it would be up to him. And, and it's, that's why it's gay. Ch- it's like playing a game of chicken. It's like he has to flinch. So, like, I'm going to I'm I'm going to push it to the limit until he. <laughs> Listen, if your homie is, like, su- is, like, for real gay, that shit will backfire, bro. That shit will backfire. Well, when, when, <laughs> that, that was what made it funny because we're both like really aggressively straight. So sometimes it would get to that point where he's like, nah, like, suck on my earlobe, do it. You like you <laughs> if you're gay, go for it. Like <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot of you know, I see. No, we're not. We're not on the white boy shit where it was like super frat type stuff. But there was a little, you know, smacking your booties and trying to like, you know, make I mean, people uncomfortable. I mean, listen, listen, that shit happened for sure. We, we, we were kind of on our white boy shit. But statistically speaking, statistically speaking, I did in high school and college was definitely like on my white boy shit because I had I had a, a lot of crazy white friends. Right, um, but but statistically speaking, uh, if you have a crew, at least two or three of them. End up, end up being gay anyway and then it's like now it's super awkward you can't even talk about that shit it's like oh we were doing that shit and you actually felt a type of way you know it's like it's super strange you know what I'm saying listen I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now every <laughs> every every click of friends I've had yeah the, the person in that click that was gay was always the soldier was always like the most solid member mm. of the that's what's up. If, you, if, if people are homophobic, it's like y'all are missing out because, like, <laughs> like listen, your, your, your gay brother and sister, they will make the plans. Yeah. Make, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're gonna make sure everything is smooth. Yeah. I mean, the, the, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of humans out here that are really shitty, and one of the people that helped me the most was a trans person. Like, I'm not even gonna exaggerate. Like. Hey. You know, people, yeah. people, people are so quick to, to, you know, and it's because of religion that messes up all of our, our potential to, you know, love people. And, you know, it's all about love at the end of the day, man. I don't care that you're atheist. I don't care that you're gay. I don't care that you're straight. I don't care that you believe that you're Muslim. Oh, I don't give a fuck, dog. Can Listen, you make and, me and, laugh? And, can you, and, can, and you atheist, can you make I, break I, bread with I me? Say, I can say that the, the, the Christian tenet of love others as you love yourself is a pretty good rule. It's so, fire. That's fire. I mean, there's that. Yeah. Hey, can I plug my stuff now? Yeah. <laughs> we got off hand. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad, though. We're on 52 no, minutes. No, no. I, I just, I'm, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, okay. go ahead. Um. <clears throat> so, my podcast is called Things You Don't See Every Day with Chris Talia Farrow. Yeah. It is available on Anchor.fm and Spotify. So if you go to Anchor.fm forward slash Things You Don't See podcast, boom, we're right there. If you just go into Spotify and search for Things You Don't See Every Day with Chris Taliaferro, we'll pop up. I also have a YouTube channel. You can do the same thing that you do on Spotify. You can just type in Things You Don't See Every Day with Chris Taliaferro. We pop right up. Yeah. If and you want to see, if you want to see the memes, if you want to see something like the Chingy meme that we're that we were talking about today, the Sesame Street Chingy meme that took the world by storm, the best places that you can see these things first are Reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Chingy. That is the subreddit that I moderate, where all the Chingy memes go. And Facebook. I make more. I make more than chingy stuff. So right, right. If you want to see some non-chingy memes, you can, you can also go to uh, 
my TikTok, my Instagram, or my Facebook, and all three of those are the same thing. They are at Things You Don't See Podcast. I'll say that again, at Things You Don't See Podcast. And when I say at, I mean the little at symbol with the little loobity blue thing that goes around it. Yeah, they want to look like a little pube, right? Yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> a little curly pube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. The but yeah, so thing that, it's, know, g- it's going to get to the point where people are just going to write T Y D S A, and then that'll be it. They don't even have to think about it. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's yeah. Com- Listen, I mean, you know, I, I, I've Googled myself because I, I'm, I'm a narcissist. So it sucks. Yeah, you, Yo, you I'm, Google I'm, yourself? I'm Dog, don't you got a girlfriend or something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't you got a girlfriend or something? You just I mean, Google yourself? It's uh, nasty. It's, you just Google it's, yourself all the time? It's fucking nasty, bro. No, I, I, no but, but, but <laughs> I've, no, I've noticed that if you do if you do type in the, uh, you know, the letters, it, it um, you can find it. Really, you T? It, so, yeah. you, you've been using that hashtag, T-Y-D-S-E? Not, not, I, not as much as I should, and I think if I used it more, it would pop up in, like, the top results. Well, it's from, like, from now on, every time I share one of your memes, I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna take that video that got of uh, 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 what almost 40k uh, on Instagram. I'm gonna. I'm gonna edit it and we'll put that hashtag in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. please do. Thank you. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you in general. I appreciate your friendship. <sighs> hey, bro. No record. problem. No problem, bro. No problem. I just feel like you know everyone's too worried about like there's not enough money out here. It's like you doing a podcast. I'm doing a podcast. I gotta crush your podcast. I am. I am Putin. I'm gonna crush your podcast. No. No, everybody can eat out here, dog. All the rappers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all the I'm gonna, podcasters, I'm gonna, everybody can eat, bro. I'm, I'm going to tell you something that um, I talk about with a few of my friends. Okay. And it's, you it's still want this to be on the pod? That, it's no, it's, it's the idea that iron sharpens iron. Mm. So when you see another person that is creative or talented in a comparable or maybe even the exact same sphere that you're in, mm. you should never look at them as a, a rival or, or yeah. someone to be jealous of. You should look at them as someone that you want to talk to to get better, to, oh, yeah. to, to step your game up, to say, okay, this person made this really cool thing. Um, you know, how can I make something that's on the level of this? Right. You know, right. Um, I, I, a lot of times, like, I'll see, I've seen some of the videos that you make, and I'm like, hey, video making is my thing. Like, I better make <laughs> something as good as that. But, but I approach it from a positive perspective. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, the thing is, like, if, you know, and, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm, this might be a little inside baseball, but it, for people, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, we've, we've both done the thing where, one of us will post something or share something and the other one will be like, you know what? Like, actually, like, if you did this instead of that, I think that would be better. And maybe neither one of us changes shit, yeah. but, <laughs> yeah. but you, but, but you, you, you have that outlet to be able to talk to that person and say, Hey, like, let me try and make you better. Right. Iron sharpens iron, man. Right, and so you, if you, if you have the same mindset like like I, like you talking about, when someone does that, it's not man, it's the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. It's okay. I'm gonna think about that. Hmm, you might be you might be right. on something. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we can human. That's how we can you know be uh, you know level up our humanity on some real shit. Like but we it, we we just gotta let go of some of that ego. You know what I mean? Let it go. Let, let it go. go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Just drop all that ego when you hold me. Let you know something <laughs> is not funny. Don't take off that. <laughs> Just internalize the advice. Is it not? Oh, God. Show me what you got for a poor child. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's like, <laughs> right there, right there. Give me right what you, there. give me what you got for a poor child. <laughs> Yo, we got to get off. These people are fucking probably pissed. Yeah, no, I know. 60 I, I know. minutes. I, Hey, can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? No. No, okay, we can't talk about it. Okay. We we, we cannot talk about it.
Stay tuned. You know, you know some things, so you gotta keep your mouth shut. I got and... you, bro. I'm zipped. I'm not saying shit. So just expect some big things from Chris Taliaferro. Expect big things from Spooks McGee. I'm dropping an album on Easter, hopefully. And expect things from you know Late Bloomer Podcast. We potting back again, baby. We back again tomorrow. We potting with the whole squad. Peace. Is that good? Are we done? I think it was great. I just, I, I mean, I mean, are we out? I mean, if uh, we're not I'm, out, I'm we gonna put this in. I don't care. Right, I mean, I'm gonna stop it. Uh, I should make every episode at the end super awkward like this, and the theme's. Are- Keeping it organic.